I bought this Helltech V3 mesh tastic device the other day, and the first thing that I noticed about it was the Bluetooth is absolutely terrible. And when I mean bad, I mean really bad. I would probably walk maybe five, six, seven meters away from this, and I'd lose Bluetooth connection. My phone would just pop in and out of reception. It was getting very weak. And it turns out that this is the culprit. See this little coiled piece of wire here? That is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna that's soldered onto the top of the board. Turns out that it's not really all that good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this coil out and we're gonna replace it with a quarter wave piece of wire that will be tuned for the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi frequencies, that being 2.4 gigahertz. So for this, you're gonna to have to get out the soldering iron and flip the board over. And you'll see this little pad right here. That's the pad that holds the coil. So we wanna desolder that. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers to just get underneath the board here and just grip that coil. So I'm just going to twist this over and hold on to that. What I'm gonna do is just desolder that as I pull on the coil and hopefully it should just slide out like that. And there's the antenna out. I probably wanna clean this connection up. I do have a bit of solder wick and a solder sucker. So I found a small bit of enameled wire here which we're gonna cut into our new antenna. Now we need to measure 29 millimeters. So 29 millimeters is the length of the antenna, but because this is going to be soldered into the PCB, we probably want to add another millimeter just so that it solders into, so that we've got room to solder into the pad. So I'm just going to measure out here 30 millimeters. Because this has enameled coating on the wire, you want to just uh, tin or solder the end of this first. Now, Ideally, you want to clean this up using a file or maybe some emery paper or something. If you don't have that, then you can just add some solder and burn the enamel off. It's not the best, but it'll work. I'm just going to move this around like this so that I'm in the bottom of the pad. The wire's just sitting in the pad there. And then I'm just going to sold, put a dab of solder on that bottom pad just to hold it in place. And there's our new antenna. So you might just want to straighten it out just a little bit. Probably should have straightened the wire before I soldered it in, but that's okay. It's only a visual thing. Just make sure that it's as straight as possible. I've also got the case here. And what I did was I just drilled a little hole in there so that when I pop the board back into the case, I can just line it up with that hole and push the case directly back on and we've got our little antenna poking out the top. I can use it across the house now, similar to what I expect in my other Bluetooth devices. So it's uh, definitely improved things a lot. It's funny how Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which runs on 2.4 gigahertz, can struggle to go across your room or even across your house. We actually made it go nearly two and a half thousand kilometers. You might not believe me, but I can prove it in this video here.